All right, excited for this one. In the next five minutes, I'm gonna be going over five proven ways that you can recover files using a Mac. These are the five things that you need to make sure that you do before anything else if you're trying to recover files that you accidentally deleted or formatted from your Mac. So let's go. So truth be told, there are a lot of things that can happen to your files, right? You delete them, you format your card, something happens to it, right? But the ultimate question is, will I be able to get my files back? So a true story, actually, I, I, I accidentally formatted an entire SD card that I use for professional photo work. And I was like, I am doomed. But luckily using some of the methods that I'm going to share with you today in this video, I was able to get all of my files back. And so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do the same. Now one pro tip that I have for you real quick before we actually get into these five things here is you need to stop using the device with the memory card in question immediately. And this will reduce the risk of the files being overwritten, which will greatly increase the probability of your files being able to be recovered. So that's a quick pro tip. Now let's get into the video. All right, so we are going to get started with number one, and that is make sure that the files were actually deleted. Now it may sound silly, but you'd probably be surprised at how many people actually don't check their trash bin at least every once in a while. And it can't hurt just to check one more time to make sure that the file that you're looking for isn't in there, especially if you don't empty out your recycle bin frequently or regularly. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So go ahead and open the trash bin by clicking on its icon and then you can go ahead here and search for the file that you suspect was deleted. And then if you actually find the file, go ahead and right click on it and select the put back option. And then you can go ahead and use Finder to verify the file's initial position and the fact that it has been recovered successfully. Okay, so that's an obvious one, right? But let's say that the file wasn't found in the trash bin. Well, the next thing that you can do is actually use Time Machine to get your files back. So Time Machine, for those who don't know, is actually a built-in proprietary disk backup solution that's built into all Mac computers. So to check for a file with Time Machine, just connect the device that contains the Time Machine backup, then go ahead and search and launch Time Machine. Then open a Finder window in the location that you last remember seeing that particular file, and scroll back through Time Machine until the file appears in the Finder window. Now go ahead and select the file and click restore to recover it. Now, of course, the only and obvious caveat with this is that you had to have enabled Time Machine on your device before the file was actually deleted. And obviously this doesn't happen all the time, especially people that don't use Time Machine. And so if that's you, then we should probably move on to number three, which is using a proprietary Mac-based file recovery software that's powerful enough to recover our files for us. So the software we're gonna be using today is of course Diskrill. Now Diskrill is a powerful software suite that combines state-of-the-art file recovery along with data backup and data protection tools that are built into it, really making it an awesome one-stop shop. So go ahead and head down to the link in the description where you will download, install, and launch disk drill. Now, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and connect the drive or device that you want to recover from to your computer and go ahead and select the disk or partition that contains the lost files from the center here, which is what we call the disk list. And next, go ahead and click the recover button to start scanning for deleted files. Then once the scan is complete, you can review all the items that have been found using the file structure in the center here. Then once you find the files that you wanna recover, just make sure that they are previewable with this little eye icon right here. And if that's the case, then go ahead and put a check mark next to them and choose your save location, which for me is typically my desktop, and then click recover. Then once the process is finished, you can head to your specific recovery location and find that the files have been exported and can be used. So Disk Drill is amazing. It's extremely powerful, very easy to use, and it's constantly being updated to ensure that it remains one of the best on the market. But now let's shift gears a little bit. Let's talk about photos specifically. So if you've lost a bunch of photos, like say vacation photos, family photos, baby photos, whatever it is, and you've put them on your Mac, it's worth checking the Photos app to see if they've actually been imported separately or even moved to the trash bin within the Photos app. So we can go ahead and check this by opening the Photos app and navigating to Recently Deleted. And this opens up the Recently Deleted folder where you can attempt an image recovery. So if you find the photos or videos that you want to restore, then just click the Recover button 
and restore the files to their original location. Now you can also check iTunes for different music and videos and movies and things like that that have been loaded from the iTunes store and you can simply go and re-download them using the previously purchased tab within iTunes. So you can do this by, of course, opening iTunes and signing in with your Apple ID. And then from the menu bar at the top of the screen, select account and then purchased. And then click on the type of multimedia file that you will be downloading in the top right corner of the window here. And then finally, locate the item that you want to restore and click the download icon to download the new version to your computer again. All right, so the last method, number five, that we can actually use as a system-wide search actually uses the terminal program built into Mac. It's essentially a command line feature that allows us to search the entire Mac system for that file that we lost. So go ahead and launch the terminal application and enter the cd.trash command. Next, go ahead and type this command where the xxx.xxx is the full file name and its extension. So in this case, you know, my video dot MP4 would be the file name plus its extension. And then of course hit return and then open a finder window and you should find that the recovered file is in its original location if it was successful. So there we have it. Five ways, proven ways to recover files from your Mac computer. So using all five of these methods, whenever you find yourself in a pinch with file recovery, is honestly an extremely powerful method of approach and plan of attack when you're trying to get your files back and more than likely you will be successful. So as usual, if you have any questions, comments, or issues, let us know down below in the comments section and I will see you next time.